No bon. classified information about the case, which means I can learn more about this other Kira. I need to figure out what this imposter is all about before someone else on the task force beats me to it. <laughs> Thank you, Light. Not at all. After all, I want to catch Kira as much as you do, Ryuga. I'll have to ask. I will die. I can't see the real Kira jeopardizing such an easy opportunity to get rid of. <coughs> okay, but are you suggesting that my son does not come to the same conclusion? There's a chance he is guilty. No. In that case, there will still only be a 5% chance. We'll inform him that we are investigating the possibility of a copycat and have him cooperate with us as planned. Mm. Now that you've seen proof of my powers, you should have no trouble believing that I am Kira. On the designated this video is so mediocre, it's making me sick to my stomach. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm the real one, but this is a complete disgrace to everything Kira stands for. Something's not right here. It seems unusual that no one bothered to explain this video to me. It's not like them. Well, in any... If so, we could lure him into a trap by sending our own message from the real Kira. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You literally took the words right out of my mouth. Okay, I have it. The script is ready. I'll leave it to you. All right. And now, a shocking announcement. In response to the frightening Kira video aired on Sakura TV only a few days ago, an anonymous individual has contacted us claiming to be the real Kira. In short, he has demanded of this network, as well as several others, that we air the message you are now about to see. I would also like to mention that the NPA has granted us permission to air this video. Is this the real Kira? No one knows for sure, but we can only hope this video will provide us with some much needed answers. I am Kira. It worked! I knew he'd answer me! The true Kira, the one who was broadcast on Sakura TV several days ago, is a pretender, a fake. The purpose of this message is to communicate my will to this imposter. I have chosen to be lenient with him for the time being, only because I believe he wishes to cooperate with me in the creation of a new world. But I want to make it absolutely clear that the taking of innocent lives is against my will. If this person claiming to be me is truly sympathetic to my cause and wishes to be of some help, I ask two things of him. That he refrain from killing aimlessly, and that he agree to abide by my basic principles. Yay! Now where is that camcorder? What are you planning to do? Uh, hello? Do you really need to ask? I'm going to reply to him, of course. Ryozaki, we have a reply from the second Kira. What? Really? I'll be bringing over the envelope and tape that we received, but in the meantime, I'm streaming a copy of the video so you can view it on your end. Kira, thank you for your reply. Please do not worry. I will follow orders and do as you say. Wow, it worked. I will do as you say, huh? Oh, this guy's gonna be no help at all. If this fake had any idea what my wishes were, he'd insist that L appear on TV and then kill him anyway. How could you fall for something like this? Oh, damn it. I really want to meet you. I don't think you have the eyes. <laughs> but you don't have to worry. I would never try to kill you. That's a problem. It's as Light says. If the two Kiras were connected, I don't think the imposter would be so willing to give up on his plan to kill me. All of this suggests to me that the copycat has his own agenda and is acting independently of the first. I believe his actual motivation is to meet the original. I think you're right. He's acting out of an interest in Kira. Into a meeting, of course, that would make Kira nervous. It could be interesting. And what would be more interesting is if Kira sends a message of his own to prevent this from happening. Ideally, this could provide us with... That shoot went on forever. Modeling takes a lot of energy. Hey, Rem. Huh? Can I ask you something? What is it? Each Shinigami has to have one death note of their own. 
For a Shinigami to give a notebook to a human, he needs to have two. Ryu could give a death note to Kira because he somehow found a way to sneak an extra one past the Shinigami King? Right. What about you? The Shinigami King isn't someone who's easily fooled. It doesn't happen often. Oh, then how did I get mine? Let's just say it has a lot to do with the fact that I'm one of the few in the Shinigami realm who knows how to kill another of my kind. That's how I ended up with two. Oh, I think I get it. You killed a Shinigami and then you gave his notebook to me, right? It's not like that. I wasn't the one who killed him. I just happened to be around when he died. It was coincidence, really. So, how do you kill a Shinigami? I have to know. Well? Never repeat this to anyone. I learned the only way to kill a Shinigami is to make them fall in love with a human. What a beautiful way to kill. There once was a Shinigami named Jealous, who spent all of his time watching over a certain human girl. Jealous wanted nothing more than to look at her. It's today, isn't it? Her last day alive. Nothing more than to look at her. It's his first time ever in Tokyo, and he wants to see Aoyama and Roppongi, so I figured the least we could do was show him a good time. I'm counting on you guys. Oh yeah, he also told me he's looking for a girlfriend, so does anyone want to volunteer? Hey, I never said that. I'm impressed, Light. I doubt that anyone would ever suspect that there was a police detective hanging around with these students. us walking together like this, even if Ryuk is seen, no one would be able to tell which one of us he's following. It's also a good defense against L surveillance cameras. <laughs> Not such a bad way to investigate, really. I just have to stay relaxed and keep an eye on the entrance of the note blue when it opens. whose lifespan I can't see. He's Kira. I can't believe it. I never thought it would be this easy to find him. All right, Rem. Time to go. Huh. You finally found him and now you just want to leave? Well, I can't go up to him and say, Hi, Kira. Nice to meet you. I'm the one who sent you the messages. With all these people around, I know his name now so I can easily find out all about him. After all, it's such a unique name. National Tennis Championship when he was in his second and third years of junior high. Poisette had the bad leg hop, leg clocks, leg school year. Today, yesterday, I went to class at Kama. Today, I'm gonna leg class.
See you in the morning. Well, it's another day. Let's go down here. Close this door. Head out. Side. Let's go down here. Let's go to over here. Right. Here we do. Press play. Hi. He came in a dress as freshman representative at this year's entrance ceremony at Tall University. I can't find a picture of him, but there won't be anyone else with a name like Light Yagami. Who would have ever thought that Kyoto would be so young and handsome? Everything about him is better than I imagined. I can't believe how easy it was to purchase this information. The world sure is a scary place. I even know his home address now. So we were there both days. In Aoyama on the 22nd and in Shibuya on the 24th. And we observed nothing of significance on either occasion. That leaves us with only the day on the 30th. I didn't notice anyone who looked suspicious at the note blue. Was he serious about the dome? Ryuzaki, apparently Sakura TV has just received another message from the second Kira. Uh, it was postmarked on the 23rd. A copy just said that I have found Kira. To all the people at the television station at the police department, I'd like to thank you very much. Huh? Impossible! Where in Aoyama? Is Shinigami? It must have seen Ryuk and picked me out of the crowd. No, no, there's no way he could have known who Ryuk was attached to. I checked repeatedly that no one was following me. If this is true, the only possible event that would correspond with this tape being mailed on the 23rd is the entry regarding Aoyama on the 22nd. The only ones from the task force who went to Aoyama are Matsuda and Light Yagami. <laughs> That's the last thing you wanted to hear, kind of right? Bad. This isn't good. I have no idea how the fake Kira will react to this, but I have no means of stopping the police from sending this message. If Kira doesn't yet know your name, it may not be too late for you, provided you are willing to cooperate. Whatever you do, you must not approach Kira out of curiosity. Make no mistake, Kira will kill you if you contact him. You'll be used and disposed of. Consider your own life for a moment. Yours, like every other life, has an intrinsic value. Now is your chance to right past wrongs by sharing what you know about Kira. Only you can help us bring his reign of terror to an end. Where are you going? To introduce myself. So this is what you meant. Oh, could that be your father? Hello and good notebook he left at school earlier today. I thought you might get worried if you saw that message on TV. I just couldn't take it anymore, so I brought this notebook. <laughs> A death note. <laughs> Shinigami. She's the fake Kira. Huh? Please, come in. Uh, you're sure it's okay? Thanks. Mom, she came all this way to return my notebook. Could you make us some tea? Sure, I don't see why not. Huh. Hmm? I already told you about her. Huh? Have a seat. Oh, um, thank you. How did you find me? I knew it! You never made the Shinigami ideal. When you have the Shinigami eyes like I do, you can see most people's name and lifespan just by looking at them. However, you can't see the lifespan of any person who possesses a death note. No kidding. I have to admit, even I wasn't aware of that little detail. Well, now you've managed to find me. But you were careless. What if you'd been caught? It's all right. Because the police didn't catch me. And if I do as you say from now... If you and I were seen... And if I become a burden to you, then you can just kill me. Oh. I already...
I'll try my hardest to make you love me. I promise. I'll arrange for her to meet Ella. She'll tell me his name, and then I eliminate the entire task force. And when that's done, I'll kill her, too. After all, she's the only person who knows Kira's true identity. The only one. I can't let her live much longer. So, you'll just pretend? All right, I guess it's a good start. Well, now that we talked about that, could you show me your Shinigami? I really want to see her. Uh, I need her to trust me. I guess I have to. Yeah, sure. Could you please turn around? All right. Come on, Bon. You can turn back now. Okay. Hey there, how's it going? Oh, look at that! You're a completely different type of Shinigami than Rem, aren't you? I already know your name. It's Ryuk, right? Nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. Oh, and by the way, Light Darling, do you know how to kill a Shinigami? Did you just call me Darling? Fine. Then do you mind if I call you Knight instead? Because you're like my knight in shining armor, you know? <sighs> Let's just stick with Light. So, were you actually planning to check all of the footage we got from Aoyama on the 22nd by yourself? That's right. I think it's very likely that Kira and the second Kira made contact with each other there on that day. So I want to check all of these tapes personally. Also, Mr. Yagami? Oh, yes? Please ask Mr. Mogi to start following Light so we can keep tabs on what he's doing. You want him followed? It's only a slim chance, but if Light is Kira, then there's still a possibility that the second Kira might try to contact him somehow. Very well. I'm starting to wonder if Ryuzaki is even human. The guy never sleeps. I saw him sleeping in that exact same position the other day. Huh. No, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. So, if a Shinigami has feelings for a human and kills someone else in order to extend that human's life beyond its natural end, the Shinigami will die. That's right. <laughs> Good luck trying to find a Shinigami who'd volunteer to do that. That's true. I can't see you ever doing that. By the way, where did you send all those tapes from, the ones that went to the TV stations? Let's see. Osaka the first time, then Tokyo, this other one from Nagano. I took the bullet train every time, so that way the police couldn't pinpoint my location. All right, one more thing. Do you still have the videotapes and envelopes with your friend's fingerprints on them? Uh-huh. Well, you'll have to dispose of everything that was used to create those videotapes, understand? But before you do, I need you to send one last video and make sure it's from a place you haven't used yet. It should say... I've decided to stop searching for Kira. And... Well, I think I understand. So is that why we can't go on dates? We can't be seen in public because it'll look too suspicious? Look, we need to take the time now to come up with a good plan. Some way that you can see Elle without letting him know you exist. Yeah. I can't eliminate Elle without you. So I'll call you and see you as often as this situation allows. You will? But... Make sure that our meetings don't stand out. I have to make sure that I'm seen with other girls, okay? Huh? What do you mean? You're serious? I like her! That Shinigami is going to kill me if I kill that girl? Which means I'm gonna have her hanging around me until she dies? And not only that, it also means that I'll be forced to protect her from being caught by the police for the rest of her life. <laughs> Thanks to you, Rem, Light really is gonna be my knight in shining armor. I suppose. Hmm. But you can't really kill him, okay? For a Shinigami to die, they have to use their death note to save the life of a human. A human who they have fallen in love with. Ideally, I could kill Rem first. Someone I was controlling would attack Misa, forcing Rem to save her, but... No, that would never work. If Misa's life was put in danger, Rem would immediately suspect me and I'd be the one who'd get killed. As things stand, she's a bigger nuisance than Elle is. She, she's famous? Oh, I don't even want to imagine what would happen if someone found out about us. Damn it. She's nothing but trouble. What should I do? No. More importantly, 
I need to think of how I can use Misa's eyes to help me kill L. If I can eliminate him. Good morning, Light. Good morning. Mom, Sayu, could you do me a big favor and keep Misa a secret from Dad for now? All right. Actually, it's not just Dad. You can't tell... We just received a new video message from the second Kira. Huh? Wow, that didn't take long. Yes, I believe it's the last one. Well, take a look at this. I've decided to stop searching for Kira, and I'd like to thank the police department for their advice. However, I still plan to help Kira in his mission, and I hope that, in time, he will come to see me as an ally. I will start by punishing criminals that Kira has yet to judge. Also, I will share my power with others who I feel are worthy, and I will encourage them to do the same. Together, we'll make this world a better place. After watching this, I can only think that Kira and the second Kira have managed to make contact. What makes you say that? Oh, come on. Didn't you sense it? Look, Light, you've got to stop that. I don't like hearing you say, if I were Kira, even hypothetically. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. As you wish, Light, you might as well come over. Yay! Another girlfriend. Oh, great to see you, Misa. I saw you in a whole bunch of magazines. Please, come on in. <laughs> Sorry to drop by like this. If you take me to where he is, I can kill him immediately. The sooner, the better. Maybe tomorrow. Hmm. I should think this through before we do anything. I need tonight to decide how we're going to kill El, and I'll give you my answer tomorrow. Very well. Also, no matter what, you can't kill him until I give the order. No matter what, understood? All right, I'll promise you that. At least where El is concerned. Misa, I need you to give me your cell phone number. About time! What took you so long? Give me yours too, okay? No, Misa, I'm afraid I can't do that. Why not? I'm your girlfriend. I should have your number. I already told you I'm under surveillance by the police. Keep in mind, it's not difficult for them to bug even cell phones these days. Oh. Okay, then what about this? I'll just give you one of my phones. I ended up with three of them because I use them for different things. Yeah, good idea. If we use yours, I think we'll be safe. That's great! I can hear your voice every day and text you too! No, I'll keep this one turned off. I'll be the only one making the calls and only when it's absolutely ne- Miss Kim, I have no choice but to make a sneak attack. This is all a wager now. <laughs> say that. I just know how to get by, that's all. Hey, what's wrong? Back for a little... Ryuga, deciding to come here today was a mistake. <laughs> Why the hell is he laughing? Could it mean he noticed something? And it makes no sense. If he somehow guessed that she's the second kid, there's no way he'd be laughing right now. Light. You're a lucky guy. <laughs> I have been a huge fan of yours ever since. Let's go. Oh, okay. Perfect. Now that Misa's away from the crowd, I just have to give her a call and ask for Elle's real name. Bye, Light. I'll see you. I want to discover your name so I could kill you myself. you have. There 
would be a public uproar if it gets out that she's been apprehended as the second Kira. So officially, we've charged her manager with drug possession, and she's a voluntary witness. But I doubt any of this will get out. I was careless. The videos. I should have destroyed all the evidence before the police had a chance to go through it. Hmm. In the end, Muga knew that his best defense was to stay close to me rather than trying to hide. He confronted things head on. This wager was my. Was my. Was my. <sighs> Not yet. The real battle is just beginning, L. She said anything yet? No, she hasn't spoken a word. Get me a visual of her, will you? Are you sure? Yes, and quickly. Think of this. All of this because she wants you to love her. I could not possibly let it go on like that. I couldn't bring myself to do it. There was only one way to save her from her suffering. Forfeiting ownership of the Death Note. Yes. If Misa forfeits ownership of the Death Note, all her memories related to it would disappear. All the murders she committed with it, the fact that you are Kira, all those memories would be gone. Your secret would be safe. Also, Misa would no longer be able to see Ryuko. Hereby relinquish ownership of this death note. Take care of her. You gave your word. Uh, uh, Mr. Stoker? Hello, mister? Where are you right now? Do, do you think we could stop this game? Huh? Stalker? Where'd you get that? Call Mogi for me. Just a second. Here. Mr. Mogi, when you apprehended Misa Amane, you made it clear that she was a suspect, am I correct? Yes. Like you told me. First, I blindfolded her and covered her mouth. I told her that we knew she was the second Kira. I made sure that she heard me. She didn't struggle when I put the blindfold and handcuffs on her. It was like she accepted it. What if I gave you an autograph or shake your hand? I know! I can give you a kiss on the cheek if you want! Oh, come on, I won't run away, I promise! We'd already made so much progress with her, I actually thought she'd crack. Why is she suddenly talking about a stalker? Lisa Amane. Huh? What's that, Mr. Stalker? <coughs> yes. Yes, I understand. We'll be expecting you in room K2801. Are you saying my son's coming here? Was investigating. Pause it. Head back to the school, yo. Head back to the dorms. guys in the morning. What's today? Friday. Matter of fact, let's go back to bed. It's fucking Friday. Well, seven in the morning. Let's go chill. Down here we do. Right. Well, it was a couple of days ago. Press play. A bunch of day.
You know what? Let's go to my dimension world it's building. I want to go to Earth B, my dimension world it's building. Well, here we are. How bond. Plus, put. We've always now. What should I build while I have always in this new dimension? Let's first build something. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> Near should be the one to succeed. L. He's not like me. He never gets emotional. He just uses his head like it's a game or a puzzle. As for me, I'm leaving this institution. Wait, Mello! Don't waste your breath. I'm almost 15 years old. It's time I started living my own life. A police officer who happened to be nearby during Higuchi's arrest overheard him talking about a notebook. If you write a person's name in it with their face in mind, that person will die. So that's what you're saying this notebook of death actually is? That's right. At this point, the Japanese police should have it in their possession. Mr. President, the current Al is a fake. He was created by the Japanese police to avoid confusion and panic amongst the various international police agencies. The real Al is dead. Director Mason, this boy, who is he, sir? Near is, well, in a sense, you could call him the true successor to Al. online I'm sorry but if you ask me it's the people doing that who deserve to die mm. but I... they want to trade the director for the notebook <sighs> who's behind this for what reason do you think it's Kira maybe not if the existence of the notebook has been leaked the <laughs> Japanese cops must be a joke of all the investigators on the task force, Deputy Director Yagami would be the highest ranking, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, coming. Darling, you usually never call from your work phone. Is something the matter? Huh? Sai? I don't know. Now that you mention it, she is late coming home. I think it was Kida who killed the director, not the kidnappers. Uh, he probably did it because he doesn't want the notebook to fall into the wrong hands. Kida claims to be justice. He wouldn't want the notebook used by someone evil. If he killed the director, then it's reasonable to assume he has ways of obtaining information from within the police force. That means we should be the ones who investigate this. We leave the police out of it. Otherwise, Kida will find out about it and probably kill the hostage. And we can't take that chance. Near. We've just received a report that the director of the Japanese police agency has been killed. I see. By whom? By whom? Uh, the kidnappers, of course. Who else? It'd be interesting if it turned out to be Kira. Hmm? That's a very good point. The police won't be trading their notebook if the hostage is dead, so it protects Kira's interests. And if it is, in fact, Kira, I can narrow down our list of suspects significantly. Hmm? By the way, Commander Rester, have you been able to determine his whereabouts yet? Not yet. We were able to confirm that he left the institution four years ago, but nothing beyond that. Very well. That clinches it. What? 
Mello, you never change. You always overlook the most important things because you let your emotions get the better of you. Or perhaps you're not even involved in this case. How could you leave your photo behind at the orphanage? This is Yagami. Your daughter has finally arrived. It's about time. What do you mean? You already have a pretty good idea. <laughs> Federation. All arrive on separate flights. Aizawa, I want you to tail my father closely and get on the same plane as him, just in case something goes wrong. Got it. I'm gonna get a haircut so they won't recognize me. Okay, everyone. Counting on ya. able to use our satellite cameras to pinpoint where the plane has landed. I'll send you a direct video feed of what we're currently seeing here. Dad. <laughs> so what's gonna happen? How will he make the exchange in a place like that? So much so that I suspect he's working hand in hand with them. You think so? That would make the second Dale and Kira one and the same person. What? That can't be. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Having said that, I'll admit that I'm only 7% certain. Don't worry, Commander Rester. Making assumptions is part of any investigation. If we're wrong, how will it cost us an apology? lately in Japan and around the world. It's because of Kira. My daddy told me that if you do something bad, your name will be written on the hey, internet please. and Kira will kill you. Come on, I don't have all day. How am I supposed to file this report without your name? You give me a break. Please, not my name! Leave me alone, or I'll put your names on the internet! Kira is an unforgivable crime. If you happen to know it, if anybody deserves to be killed by 